Hi, this is Ashio and welcome back to Echo. We've only got a couple more of these side stories left now. We've kind of been going through all the, the running up to everybody going to university. But now everyone's at university, all that's left is to... What, what happened in the meantime? We haven't seen anything from Flynn during this time either. So this is all leading up to when they reunited at the start of the game. Okay, metaphor. Who's it going to be this time? Who are we going to see? Who are we going to focus? It's September 2014. So it's been a couple of years, I think, now. Scales glistening with perspiration, seen through his open button-down shirt. Flynn hefts some boxes down the roller conveyor. The gila briskly walks over to his pallet jack, pumping it vigorously. He drags the stacked-up pallet of 15 packs of 24-count spring water bottles across the stockroom to the truck's trailer. Dumping the pallet in, he drags the jack back out, haphazardly abandoning it mid-walk as he gets to the clerical counter. He picks up a clipboard, checking off the work he just did, examining the list intently. His tail whips back and forth, the orange splotch patterns looking metallic in the sparse incandescent light. He's been working overnights at this distribution centre for nearly eight years, and for some reason, he hasn't grown numb to it. Flynn plops the clipboard onto the counter, patting his pockets with his scale claws, and pulls out a pack of cigarettes and a lighter. Sean, an armadillo, sees him walking toward the side exit. Where do you think you're going? Taking my break. Sean rubs his face with both paws. Okay, you really doing this tonight? You know, we still got four traders left to fill, right? Flynn pops the cigarette between his lips. Yeah, and we still got five hours in the fucking shift. I'll be back. Your shift lead. You know where to find me. Flynn leans against the building, unlit cigarette in his mouth, fidgeting with the lighter. It sparks over and over again, never igniting. He sighs, slipping the lighter back into his pocket and switching it out with his phone. He scrolls through a few posts on social media, checking his messages, staring idly at his home screen. He perks up at some distant revving. He picks out the familiar pickup truck from across the parking lot, greeting it as it pulls up. About time. Were you too busy fapping at the moon? Yeah, you'd like that. You're just lucky I happen to be up. Otherwise, you'd have no one to talk shit to. Flynn chuckles. Leo nods his head toward the gila's snout. Thought you didn't smoke anymore. Flynn takes the cigarette out of his mouth. Ah, yeah, I don't. So, what, you just like chewing on them? Flynn clears his throat. Oh, yeah, actually. Alright, man. It's great if you quit, but you know I don't care what you do, right? Oh, oh, of course. He lets out a breath. I'm serious. I quit. I don't like them. It's like you keep the thing that kills you between your teeth or whatever. It's from a movie. That's really fucking cheesy, man. Flynn pockets the cigarette and shrugs. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just liked it. Leo rolls his eyes, letting out a sighing laugh. He puts his paws behind his head and leans back against the building next to Flynn, looking up at the full moon. He reaches over, running his paw softly over the gila's head spines. The reptile closes his eyes for a moment, humming at the touch. He looks over the glinting piece of silver on the wolf's wrist, shining in the moonlight. Leo looks too, their eyes locking briefly. Flynn snickers. Your eyes are weird as hell. You say they're brown, but they always look red in the light. Hmm, yeah, I've been told that before. Leo pulls his paw back. Oh, why'd you stop? You know I like having my spines petted. Oh, my bad. I'm just messing with you. You're in a really good mood. Hmm, yeah. Just touch starved, I guess. Wow, you need me that bad, huh? You want to make cuddles at work a regular thing? Settle down. I can get better tail than you whenever I want. Fuck you. Name the time and place. They laugh for a while. They fall into a comfortable silence, listening to the sounds and looking at the sky. So, he's graduating in about a year now, right? We're supposed to be having some sort of reunion? Leo leans back against the building. Hmm, Jenna and Tiege too. Exciting, right? We'll be a crew again, just like back then. Sure. Flynn takes the cigarette back out and rolls it around in his fingers for a bit before returning it to his mouth. You don't seem all that excited. Flynn keeps it in his mouth as he speaks. We've had separate lives these past few years, Leo. And a lot has happened too. Some of it, well, you know, some of it's fucked. Just don't be surprised if it's not the same. Leo sighs. Maybe. 
Either way though, it will at least be nice to see everyone again. For sure. Flynn takes the empty lighter back out. He strikes it once, twice, like the many times he has before, when he was feeling nervous or just needed something to do with his hands. He watches the sparks dance and die, searching desperately for gas, never finding any. He lifts the cigarette out of his mouth, eyes falling away from the wolf. He inhales. And I need to know where we stand, Leo. I don't want to get caught in the middle of that shit again. None of us do. The red wolf's shoulders ease down as he lets out a ragged sigh. He runs a paw up his snout, rubbing his eyes with his finger and thumb, and then he looks back at the towering reptile. I love you and Chase as friends, very good friends. That's good enough for me. Flynn studies the determined look on Leo's face. He puts the cigarette back into his mouth. When he speaks again, it's level, almost monotone. I guess that's okay, if that's all you want. What do you mean? Flynn shrugs, nothing. Oh, that was brief. That was brief, but that was the insight we got into Flynn and Leo's relationship. It was, well, it wasn't even implied. It was stated that they did have a relationship while everybody else went away. Flynn might have been more into it than what he lets on. Broken relationships. Oh, man. Okay, there's only one more of these episodes to go. So, yeah, this is Usher signing off, and hopefully I'll see you then.